You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. War. War never changes. Hello everybody, welcome to the Fallout 4 Survival Walkthrough. So to save us time, I have skipped the intro. Um, so we're going to go through our character stats and we're going to jump straight into the action. So our character's name is Billy Boom Boom. Now stats wise, I'm rolling with 10 strength. This is a survival walkthrough, so our carry weight is limited. So we're going to make use of the strong back perk, uh, at least the first two, uh, to give us an extra 50 points in carry weight, which help a lot. Perception um, is rolling at 3. Ultimately we want to get this to 5 because we are going to be making use of Demolition Expert as well. Um... But we can't do that straight off the bat, so we're going to use a bobblehead and probably the special book to get us to that milestone. Endurance is low. We may pump that up a little bit, um, but not for a while. So what this means is our hit points are going to be pretty low, which is why we're going to be running with power armor. Um, Charisma, the target is six. Um, but obviously, again, we've got to start at five for now. We're going to have to put a point into that manually, I think, uh, but not. For a few videos <clears throat> and the reason we want six is so we can have the local leader perk instead of supply lines because um we're going to join the minutemen and we are going to um colonize the wasteland Billy boom boom may be a bit of a madman but he's got a good heart you know what i mean um but again we'll have to actually invest a point in that um when the time comes intelligence is nine for, for the simple reason that um what i want to do is make use of the nuclear physicist perk so we can make uh, fusion cores last um, significantly longer so we can roll around with power armor eventually pretty much full time which is going to be amazing also means with intelligence starting at 9 we're going to level up very very quickly at least in the early game because you get a lot more experience which is good agility is 2 uh, which means not a lot of action points so that is not really on our radar to be honest unless we're in dire straits and luck who needs luck with your billy boom boom right anyway let's get moving uh, so let's get finished and let's exit the vault. Enjoy your return to Um, we're riding with the updates, so we're going to get bombarded with a load of random missions that, that are way beyond our scope right now. But this is the epitome of the uh, Fallout series is that emerging in the wasteland for the first time, and oh my god, it's so bright. Um, what I want to do quickly is roll over uh, my inventory, because um, I lucked out in the vault, and we got a one bobby pin, um, which means we'll be able to unlock a few chests a bit earlier than otherwise but um if you haven't got that don't worry about that <clears throat> it's not a big deal first things first um so that sanctuary that's where we came from that's our home we're gonna end up there in a bit but not straight away i want to do some other things first so what i want to do first is pick up all the bottles so what i did do um when i was in the vault is filled up stocked up on um water and i would suggest you do the same uh, purified water that is because dirty water is uh, irradiated which is no good how many more missions are there? Jeez. Right, let's get some right away. I will point out that the loot in these chests is uh, random, so you might not get what I get. In fact, you probably won't. What you want is antibiotics. Whether you get them or not, it's another conversation, right? But um, that's another reason for uh, high intelligence, because we need the chemist perk. And what the chemist perk does is allow you to make um, more drugs, for one, and also antibiotics and things like refreshing beverage which we're going to be using uh, because we're going to be using a lot of drugs in this game as also or, um as well as uh <clears throat> what was i going to say as well as making antibiotics so we can save off infection because most of the things you're going to get like parasites and sleep deprivation they're not so bad but the infection is constant hit uh damage to your health which is fatal if not treated uh, much like real life i would say so uh where am i going we're going to go run through here. But this, uh, basically what we're going to do is get some hub flowers early on. And what hub flowers do... Oh, let's get that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get some 200-year-old corn beef, because why not? Okay, what hub flowers enable you to do... Um, it's a bit worried about carry weight. I'm picking up everything in sight. Um, hub flowers are useful for crafting, but principally you want them to make psycho, which is an incredibly powerful drug. And eventually we'll be able to make psycho jet with it, which is even more powerful, but not, not yet. Not yet. Uh, right, 
double back this way. What we want to do... Um, yeah, this is not an exhaustive run by any means. It's just to get us a few started. Now, you want to keep to the... Right, no, you don't. You want to go this way first, don't you? So there's one here. No, I wanted to aim. It's my power there, right? But don't go too far. What you want to do is actually... Um, sneak. In order to sneak, push in the right stick on the controller because if you are, or whatever your sneak button is, um, kind of move slowly because there's small rats. Um, can we see him? You know, let's not get too close. I'll show you what I mean. But it won't be there this run, it'll be kind of funny. Ah, yeah, there he is. There's one there. Don't be tempted to shoot him though because he will, unless you kill him one go, and even if you do, typically speaking, a uh, ton more come and they will swarm on us and we'll be dead in seconds could be at this point in the game anything will kill us more or less straight away which is is uh, less than ideal to be honest with you so let's get some hub flowers right we're gonna double back this way I'll double back we to the left is what I want to say there's more hub flowers here oh man this changes every time this is a random encounter let's just see if there's anything typically speaking the the bit straight ahead of us, that can vary. Sometimes it can be settler, sometimes it can be a dude in power armor, sometimes it can be more or less anything. Um, but underneath the pylon is usually raiders and a dog. <clears throat> Which, at this point, is pretty lethal to us, so we'll um, sneak. As the tool to be saying there, what survival mode means is, among other things, you can only save when you sleep. So everything we do is going to be in between sleep chunks and the way the game mechanics work is you kind of don't always want to sleep because you uh, the more kills you get the more enemies you defeat before you sleep the more adrenaline you get which we've probably got running now haven't we yeah so we look at damage plus 10 so that's only a plus two so you can get significant damage increase but obviously right now we don't want to get into too much combat because it would be suicidal i think still been some of this stuff we can use to make food like, I don't... What is going on here? What is this shit? Yeah. You know what? Let's not tempt fate. <clears throat> if the raiders swarm on you, you're dead so quick. One, one or two shots, and it's over. And then the dog will run at you, and the dog will kill you in just seconds. Which is, is not... It's not good. It's not good. So we want to run around here. Where am I going? So there is a uh, <clears throat> little cabin here, a little hut here, which we'll be able to open, assuming we don't break the lockpick. <laughs> um, yeah, but if you haven't got... What am I doing? My phone's going mental. If you haven't got uh, a lockpick, don't worry about it. We can come back another time. Or bobby pin, not a lockpick. Um, and we might break here, in which case it won't matter. So, yeah, we don't. Nope. So you're going to kind of ease it. Nope. 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 Fuck. Oh, never mind. There you go. <laughs> Bollocks. All right, well, there goes the lockpick. That changes everything. Okay. Well, now I'm in the same boat as you, I guess. Oh, that's a ball ache. I'm going to forget to come back to this shack. You know that, right? I'm never going to go back. But sometimes you get some bobby pins in Sanctuary, sometimes not. But never mind. I'm only human. I'm only human. And the goal of this video is not to unlock that thing. So we have other objectives. So let's get... <laughs> that's so annoying. <laughs> well, I got a couple of practice runs. And there's no issue. Hit the record button. I'm fucked. Story as old as time. Oh, from lack of sleep. That's very much like me in real life, to be fair. I am usually running on empty, so this game is going to be, in many ways, a life story. <laughs> so, uh, I'm loving Fallout 4, by the way. I I'm, I was going to jump and record a while back uh, when the series came out, because the TV show rocked my world. I haven't played this game for a couple, uh, few years, actually. And uh, at least a couple of years. I think I did a couple of videos my channel's very early um but that show just i, I mean the same as a lot of people that show re uh 
ignited my love for Fallout. So I wanted to get recording, but I wanted to actually kind of know what I was doing. Because we're kind of moving away from uh, Let's Plays now. What we want to do is more walkthrough guided, and guided content. So I wanted to kind of put a, put, a, put a build together, put a plan. And get to learn the wasteland. Um, I do have all the DLCs. So there's going to be quite... Oh, we don't want to go through that, do we? No, there's going to be quite a lot to do. I don't know how long this series is going to be. And I don't know what the schedule is going to be like. Because uh, we are running the Starfield walkthrough as well. And Barry the Bandit as well. Which is kind of the most fun I've had playing Elden Ring ever. Um... I want to keep those running. Uh, and obviously the DLC for the Elden Ring comes out very soon. So that's going to be, uh, yeah, going to keep it busy. <clears throat> but I'm on holiday this week, so I tan intend, intend, intend to get a lot of recording done. So we're going to get bulk. I think what I'm going to kind of do is alternate days. So maybe do, um, yeah. It's not going to be buried about it every single day from now. And I think we're going to, we're going to, we're going to move, we're going to move around a bit. But uh, I need to play other games too because I get, I don't want to say get bored, but uh, you get a bit stale. Um, this is similar fruit. You know, we need to press on. I'm, I'm wasting time. Um, wait, stop. Where are we on the map? We don't want to go any further because there's some. Um, maybe I'll get these. Yeah, there is um, a raider camp that we're going to deal with next video. Not raider camp, raider hut. Just there, you can see it. And we'll come back. We've got dog meat, um, but there's also bloat flies just in this area, which will murder us. Bloat flies, if you don't know, are um, basically, I guess they're like common house flies or horse flies that have been uh, irradiated over centuries, and I know giant fucking monsters that will spew poison at you and kill you so quickly it'll hurt <laughs> it won't hurt you won't even feel it you'll be dead um yeah we we'll ignore those uh what do i want to run right we can cut straight in cool we want some of this in fact what i want is just like a drink my mouth's dry and a badger's bum Ooh. right let's uh Well, I've now there's a couple of blood leaf here which I'm going to pick up. I always pick up. Whether or not I ever use them is another conversation. I mean, you can eat them as is, but why you eat giant red leaves that are set in toxic water is, a, is another conversation. But uh, let's get to sanctuary. So where are we going for time? I've dawdled enough. Um, two things we'll do. Check. Suitcases. Ah, we got another bobby pin. Sweet. And a suit. Score. This is great. Um, so this basically gives us plus two charisma, so that puts on plus seven. It'll come in handy when you're trading and need persuasion checks. So we'll. we'll that's brilliant. We've got our bobby pin back, but um, I can't. I haven't got time to double back now. Um, Codsworth is here. Codsworth is our faithful servant who's been faithfully keeping the lawn unkempt for the last 200 years. Um, you can talk to him, basically you'll send us on a quest to Concord, but we're going to find that out on our own. I don't want to waste time talking to him right now. All I want from here, two things. Grog Connect the Barbarian. This will... Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus five damage. If we ever do any melee attacks, that's great. But we're not a melee build. Well, I mean, with power arm, we can. But right now, I don't want to get anywhere near that close to enemies. Unless it's maybe a red roach. What we want is your special. So we're going to go for Perception. So that gets us on 14. Um... Pick up all this crap, yeah. We'll store all this junk in a minute. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Coffee tin, okay. Let's not get carried away. So, two things I want to do first. Get a workshop up. I'm not going to go crazy. All I want to do is clear some space. And I also want to get these breeze box done. I'm going to move. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Right. So what I like to do normally is pop the armor bench just here. Just make sure you're crafting. I mean, we're not going to be back here a ton. Um, because obviously it's survived, we can't fast travel. So what we kind of do is walk places and then... 
but we will be coming back here periodically at least at least two more times um in the game oh the other thing i want to do is put a block bed in we will just empty this area out quickly Again, I'm not going to go mental. Most of this sort of stuff I'll do between videos, but we're not going to do extensive set, um, settlement. We're not going to do uh, much work on our settlements for a few videos. Because uh, we've got stuff to do. Yeah, so what I'll do is plop a bed. But what I tend to do is go for these beds because they have less, like, less resources than they, those ones, right? So pop the nice one there but we're not going to save just yet what I want to do first two things I want to do uh, I just want to make get rid of that, get rid of that get rid of that, get rid of that anything else? yeah, alright so we're going to run this way first Is this house here wait we might get accosted by some bloke flies in a minute or cockroaches more likely red roach yeah i can hear them hello that's a, that's a level groovy fatigue as well we'll sort out a minute don't stress don't stress okay more bobby pins man we're rolling this doesn't always happen again this is randomized loot so don't worry if you don't get them we don't <clears throat> you don't need to um bobby vins you pick up here aren't essential to the walkthrough i.e you won't fail if you don't pick them up you know what i don't want to be doing this do i, I want to <laughs> i want to go to the, the drug dealer's house drug dealer's house here first so let's do that i want a gun for this particular bit so uh we can see that that's and that's an explosive there's a trip wire there but i don't want to run the risk of triggering it by mistake so what i'm going to do up here Ooh. there we go problem solved uh get 10 milli here i guess being a drug dealer's dangerous work uh we can unlock the safe if you want, but I don't actually need to because reasons. Uh, well, in fact, I'll show you why not. We can just go in the workshop, break it down. Voila, we have the safe. Or the contents of the safe. What I do want to do, though, is take this opportunity to talk you through um, ad hacking. It'll give you an introduction here, but it doesn't really cover what else you can do because obviously you get four attempts and you have to guess the words. But what it doesn't tell you is that if you scroll through these, Um, any open and any closed brackets basically um, of course I'm not finding any there you go removes the duds this is a bit tedious it's just for demonstration purposes put one down this makes hacking remarkably easier. Boom. That one gone. That one gone. Uh, I've almost too much time doing this. We've kind of burnt through too much time already. Wait. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that should be good enough. To fire, nope. Nope. So that means it has to be this one, right? There we go. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is really important. All it does is talk through his various contacts in the surrounding area. I just thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on how to hack while I'm thinking about it. Sea Captain's hat. Ooh. 
Well, that's cheeky. That increases our endurance by two. By proxy, it will increase our hit points. In fact, I'll show you that now. So what's the hit points? 104. Move the hat. 93. Isn't that cool? And that's the mechanic we'll exploit later on. Because we can actually increase our endurance. Um, well, we're going to put some points into it, but we can increase it with items. I'll leave that where it is. What I want is this camp station. I'm all here. I'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Um, bag of fertilizer. Come in handy later on. Now we're going to run. I just want to get this set up now. We're not going to spend too much time. As I said, I only want to get these up and running. Just so I've got a kind of a rough area. To do my work. And now the um, Rad Rogers are dead. We can uh, move the cooking station as well. That's going to be important. What comes next? Right. <clears throat> Let's get you plopped in. I'm going to move this thing. It's annoying me. Right. Okay, next on our agenda. We'll run this way. Basically, if you talk to God's Weather Dwelling, we'll actually get clear all the houses of bugs because there's bloke flies and all sorts of horrible, nasty things. But we don't need to worry about that. All we have to do is pick up this beer bottle. The caps. Alright, okay. I think TV did a trays of aluminium, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be the hospital surgical trays, I can't remember. Aluminium is going to be integral, um, both for upgrades as well as um, repairing power armor, because power armor is. Oh, wait, crouch. Some more bloke flies this way, which I don't want to deal with personally on any level. Spiritual or emotional. Let's go this way. So, we'll go down there in a minute. I want to go up here first. And I tend to fall off this log more often than not. What do you know? We've made it. Uh, so, we get the Molotov sweet graduated cylinder. Okay, let's go down here quickly. A lot of times in this game. I mean, this is a really old game, right? I've got a really beefy computer, and uh, it's not so bad when you go into buildings. But when you leave, when you when it's when you're leaving here, when we leave here and you're entering the world, it'll take 400 years to load up. I don't know why. Um, what a shit. Yeah. All right. Let's pick up the gold bar. Obviously, this is an advanced lock, which we won't be able to unlock that yet. We need a perk for that, <clears throat> but I don't care too much. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. I was idly wondering if the workshop counts out here, but it does not. No. I didn't think it did. It was just a random... A slight experiment. Well, there uh, beers. Beer is useful for persuasion checks, but it also increases your carry rate by one. And here we go for the infinite loading screen. Yeah, so I mean, they take forever. Um, the magic of editing should have made that a bit quicker for you, but I feel like I've been here seven years. Anyway, let's um, run back. At this point, we can sort our storage out. What I want to do. Is uh, pick up the ammo. Yes, the bottle caps. Dump you in. We've got a pipe pistol, so we get rid of that. Uh, don't know if we want the security button, do we? Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Let's get rid of this stuff. Basically, all your crafting materials are in a store here. It doesn't matter. 
uh what am I doing it doesn't matter if um as long as it's craftable materials once we link up it doesn't matter where you store it as long as it's linked up with the supply line which we can't do yet but when we do um we won't lose anything so um keep that things like right away you've got to be very careful with in survival mode as well because they leave you prone to infections and other things which is somewhat unhelpful let's get rid of souls we take the silk beans get rid of the sugar bombs that's, that's all I really want to keep. Before we do anything else, uh, I knew I forgot something. I want to set up a water pump. We'll be setting up a more comprehensive setup. For now, I just want to get uh, fill up my bottles. Purified water is so valuable. Um, in, well, both monetary, monetarily and... Um, your survival and it's important we should have done this before you um use the workshop but how many are there thank you for lack of food well I'll just leave it yeah because what we can do is if you press y and control it it will store your junk and then all of a sudden we're a lot lighter than we were before but if you do that before the gun as well. If you do that before you filled up the water bottles, it'll store all your glasses junk, which is kind of poo. So let's. Uh, how bad are we tired? Extremely. Well, we're not using AP, so it's not a big deal. We'll lose the adrenaline, but that's okay. I would recommend you save here, just in case uh, uh, you die. Basically, I don't really want to have to redo this bit. So let's um cook what about that so let's uh i'll do it looks like such a pleb <laughs> um yeah let's take uh let's see one of them but um I probably fed, take some water, now I'm hydrated. You know what I forgot to do? Actually you know what we don't need to, we'll keep the pipe pistol as is. Um we don't need it right now. Okay. We've got twenty eight minutes, right? We gotta move fast. Got my shells grenades. Who puts grenades in a bin? What an idiot. Um so these road levels. We're gonna pick these up. Um I'll pick up all night, this is not road levels, this is drifter's outfit. Now this will give marginally more defence than what we've got, I think. Although that's debatable. We have more rad. You know, I'd probably put off with the rad, res rad resistance. No, yeah, forget that. I was going to say that the um, the drifter outfit is kind of cool. It looks cool, but in fact, we'll wear it. Fuck it. It's not going to make any difference. I'll show you. Uh, Weapon away. It looks cool, but you can't wear armor over the top of it. So what we actually want to get is road leathers. We'll head it for now. You can't walk around the, the uh. Commonwealth wearing a a um bright blue outfit. He looks stupid. Let's give me the good boy. Hello, mate. Boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Let's you go. Come with me, pal. Yeah, you do. Good boy. Come on. Okay then. Let's stick together. All right. So we're gonna use him as well because he's gonna help us with the mole rat situation. But there's no mole rat, you say? Well, there will be. Where's that radio coming from? Oh. Don't want to get copyright strikes, thanks very much. I had a look in the settings, I can't turn the radio off. Like, off, off. We can turn our radio off, but those random ones you find will still be on. So, 
Hopefully we won't get hit with any strikes or anything. Dog meat, yep. Yeah. Uh, we don't need... I don't think this... Sometimes it's worth going through these because it'll open up. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm not... You can read it in your own time if you want to do it, but... uh. No, that's just a manifest. So sometimes it'll um, unlock map markers for the site to explore. All right. A hey, nuke color. No color, I'll take. There they come. Can they break through this floor? I don't think they can, can they? Situation they can come at your back. They can kill you pretty quick. Get out of my face. This, if you don't know, this Red Rocket Truck Stop is actually a settlement that's supposed to go to the workbench. A score. Okay. Okay. That's the last one. He's gonna burst out right next to us, isn't he? Come on, sunshine. <laughs> Enough. Okay. Taking care of. Dog me's trying to tell me something, but I don't care. What I want to do now is uh, we lucked out, got a Molotov. If you didn't get one, hard shit. <laughs> um. If you didn't get one, I'd, I'd ignore these, but I'm going to try and take them out of the Molotov cocktail. So let's just do the thing. And I missed, you fucking moron. Alright. Where the other one go? Oh, no, we got one. That's cool. Okay. Look out. Take that. You can use those uh, proboscis, whatever it is, for um, the needle rifle, but <clears throat> I don't, the syringe, but I don't have to use it because it's crap. No, I mean, it's not, it's not true. It's good if you're like a long range stealth build or a sniper, but I'm I'm not. This build, we're running gun, power armor, bombs. We are the exact opposite of a stealth build, so. Um, <coughs> which is going to be fun for survival mode because. Typically speaking, that's not. Typically speaking, that's not the way you want to play. But anyway, let's get in here. Uh, I want that as well. Glowing fungus. We need um, crafting uh, drugs. As well as the brain fungus, we can use to make mentats, among other things. And you want to crouch in here because there's a mole rat just there. Here we're going to murder with one shot. But now we get assaulted by loads. Did we get them all? Ruby. 
Alright. That works. I'm uh, concentrating. We'll level up. We'll level up in a minute. I would actually. Yeah, when you're picking up this stuff, you don't want to accidentally drink some dirty water because that's not good for you. We get some more purified water. It's good. Uh, also, keep an eye out. Uh, that's glowing. Dog, get him away. Dude, don't fuck me. Got it. That's, that's so annoying trying to pick that stuff up. Is there more there? Yeah, okay. Alright. So this is our first uh, fusion core, which is going to be gravy. Okay, we've got that. And um, this here varies. Sometimes it's a 10 millimeter, sometimes not. Um, all right, take that. The red fungus. We just pick up the fusion core, didn't we? Yeah, that's our first one. So we're gonna pick up a few next video. But this is really just to get us started. Okay. You need you need, you need gear to get the build off the ground. That makes sense. Uh, Tarberry. Ooh, upgraded to Millie. Sweet. More brain fungus. Yeah, that, so the brain fungus is meant at, I think I mentioned here. But that's... <clears throat> we use it to make buff tats, probably what I'll use them for. You want to crouch again because there's another mole rat. To the left who is a leveled mole rat. Usually he's tougher than the ones we faced before. Which means you want to get the jump on him. Oh, I could miss like three times. That that also helps, but at least we're got adrenaline, so we're strong. Pick up the pelvis bones or any of the bones you see, because bones you can use at the um, chemistry station to make cutting food, which is oil. And oil we're going to use quite a lot of. Um, we're going to use a hell of a lot actually, because we're going to we are said so we are going to colonise the Commonwealth. Um, which ultimately makes survive mode a hell of a lot easier actually, because what it means. Uh, no, uh, yeah, what it means is if you tool, if you equip your uh, supply lines, effectively uh, give, give them decent firepower, they cover all the roads everywhere you run. Everywhere that you've been to will be safe because uh, they can help you. I mean, safety relative terms, as you get leveled up, the enemies get leveled up, it's not entirely true, but they, they can't die either, so. The provision is all over the all over the landscape, adding it fire support. Which get a buff out. Sweet. And we've got fragmentation mines. Even better. Could us we're cooking my gas now, boys and girls. Right, let's what's that? Alright. Got everything I think we have, haven't we? This is the Mora then Emptied. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Jesus, those low times. Doesn't get any better. Right, let's um get our bearings. So we're next. gonna head back to Sanctuary. With all of our spoils. Yeah, I want to have a look at some of our gear as well. Did we pick up a shotgun? I don't know if we did. No. This way, boom. I forget how big Sanctuary is sometimes, I always expect it to be one of those buildings. All these ruined buildings being collapsed below, we're not going to do that now. Uh, what I do want to do is stock up on water. <clears throat> I'll take a few.
This does take a while. <clears throat> I think future I'm gonna to have to do this bit between videos. Although we shouldn't have to do that much longer. Um Yeah, all I really want to do here is how much purified water do we actually have? Must have a fair bit, right? Yeah. Let's store some of our weapons. We can't store our junk, can we? Because you know what? Just persevere now, bar. Just get the water. Yeah. Can't be many more left. Yep, yeah, there's only two left. Okay, let's store our junk. Gonna keep one of these. Let's get rid of those, get rid of that. Uh so we're going to favorite that, favorite that. How much? You know, we're probably better off with the 10 mil. Keep very light. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. If we need anything else to pick it up along the way. That's kind of a plan, right? I'll keep the vault suit on us because we might need that. It doesn't weigh much, does it? Although it does. No, we need to keep that on us. We need to keep charisma gear on us. We'll keep that in case we find armor. We don't have anything to underneath because if we don't if we find armor, we equip it. It de-equips the drifter outfit. We walk around in our pants and, and leather armor, which is stupid. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Ah, uh, blower. Mangle dog meat. Store all the nuki colors. We can use those to craft later. Again, once again, anything that gets stored that's usable for crafting, we can use at any bench. Oh, once the supply line's set up, I should say. Uh, what ammo do we have? Get rid of the 45. Right, get rid of that as well. Uh, we're going to store. No, we need to keep the fusion core on us, don't we? Yes, we do. No, we don't. We're gonna pick up two more. Now we get three more, four more. All right. Two. Uh... Oh. Okay. I think I want two. Favorite grenades. All right, we're gonna call this video done here. I think this was enough for a, an introductory video. What I'm gonna do now is sleep and save the game. I suggest you do the same. Uh, next video, we're gonna do the fusion core run. So we're gonna pick up some power armor, our first set of power armor, and um, pick up at least three, not four, fusion cores. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.